Okay, calculator fanciers. Today we have some, you know, from the bleeding edge of calculator innovation, some brand new calculators from Staples. Let's open this up and see what we've got. So we'll make the traditional incision on one side of the logo as to not ruin uh, the actual picture there. Slice that open. And we have, oh, okay, first calculator out of the bag is already on. And look at, um, it's, okay, there's no further unboxing to be done, but it is a flexible, it's a, a limp, some would say, uh, calculator. You can see there, branded with staples. No box, no instructions. I mean, what if I want to read how to use my calculator in a variety of different languages? Classic, don't do calculation in a bin, that's good. And you can see it is a flexible calculator. Let's take it for a spin and see, see what it can do. So, uh, what do we have? We've got uh, the normal add, subtract, multiply, and divide. We also have, uh, this is random, it'll add or subtract if you're doing calculations and you want an element of random chance and luck. We've got percentage, and we've got M on and M off. Okay, so let's divide by zero. One uh, divide by zero equals error. Oh, okay, fantastic. Uh, and I assume, let's just check all the calculator. One uh, divided by seven equals a bunch of numbers times seven equals, oh. Okay, so there's some rounding errors going on in there, but that's, I mean, otherwise it's great. And it'd be really useful for all those situations where you haven't got the space for a normal rigid calculator. So if you're, if you're traveling, you can, you can roll, you can roll, look at that, you can roll that up like that, right? And you could have that on your person. And at, at a moment's notice, you're like, let's calculate. It is flexible, you could sew it into your clothes. Sewables are all the rage, you could put this straight into a coat, or if you can't afford an Apple or other smartwatch, it actually, uh, the contours, look at that, match the arm, and so you could just tape the two ends together there and you've got a full-on calculator bracelet. And what I quite like is on the back, you can see right through there, look at the, I mean, it pleases me immensely. I mean, I almost feel a little, Little, it's a little indecent being able to see all the circuitry. Like you can see it, the connections there when you hit the button. I mean, that's, oh, that's too much. Let's just leave that for now. Scores for the Staples Flexible Calculator. The display, eight digits. I'm gonna give it a six. Functionality, it's very down the line. That's a five. Accuracy, a mere three. Ergonomics, a, it's gotta be a 10. Cred is flexible, depending on a lot of factors with a, this calculator. So I'm gonna give it a six with the standard deviation of two. And finally, for durability, that is a 10 for a total score of 40. Okay, up next we have, oh, thankfully, something to unbox, a binder calculator. Wow, as you can see, anything is better with a binder, it's got a number in the corner. In case you're stuck for what number to do a calculation with, they provide you with an example number on the front. That's very nice of them. And on the back, they remind you, it is be it's so better. What percentage could they guarantee your satisfaction? Well, that would be 100% satisfaction guarantee, which is there. It doesn't work in any sized bin which is good to know, unless, unless you give it a hug. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is very carefully cut around the calculator, leaving the rest of the box intact. If anyone uh, collects, for example, Star Wars figures or like uh, original baseball cards, this is the traditional way to open them carefully. Let's get the bottom bit off there. Nice. So now you can display separately the silhouette of where it came from, and now conveniently this whole thing just have like an exploded a bit in your display case like that to illustrate how it all went back together. Okay, so let's get rid of all that. So you can see this is not just a calculator. Staples, you know, they figure this one's rigid, very disappointing, will make up for it. You can measure on one side how long you've been calculating for. And then over here, you can uh, attach a variety of uh, calculator bling on this side or put it in a binder. Let's turn it on first. Oh, here we go, okay, look at that. Okay, so we're on. And you can see it's it's a solar panel one, but we'll just double check. Even if you lose light, you can continue calculating during an eclipse, that's good to know. We've got a square root key, so let's give it a quick square root test. Two square root times two square root equals disappointment. Okay, let's just test out the number that the example number, the serving suggestion on the packet there, so two. Four zero eight nine. Yep. 
Okay, there's woefully inadequate instructions for what to do. Oh, actually, I see what they're testing. This, it actually displays little commas, but unlike, you know, they're not at the bottom, they're at the top, like a little jaunty, uh, little apostrophe or something. So that, once again, staples, innovation in the field of calculators, put the comma at the top. I mean, pointless innovation in this case, but you know, they're trying everything. Final scores for the Staples Better Binder Calculator. For display, it's got eight digits, so I would give it a six, but for innovations in apostrophes, I'll make that a seven apostrophe. Functionality, it is a calculator, but it's also got a ruler on one side. You can put it in your ring binder. I mean, with a ruler, I'm gonna have to give it two straight lines, 11. Accuracy, not great, four. Ergonomics, it's nothing but pointy edges, three. Cred, I'd give the calculator aspect a five, but the fact that it shows you that you keep your calculator locked away in a binder and not on display, I think it negates that zero. And for durability, okay, that is that is unfair, I think, I think a five. And finally, at the bottom of the staple sack, we have, oh my goodness, that is a party in calculator form. So it's not in a box, I can't open it up, very sad, but I can turn it on, right? And uh, let's give it a quick test. Let's go with, let's do a divisibility test. So I'm gonna do 75, I'm gonna divide that by 14, and I get a five in remainder. I now subtract the five and then multiply that back up by 14, and I get oh, 4.99992. So the storage is not great. And uh, I guess the great thing about this calculator is if you get tired of this, or it starts to cause a seizure, and uh, you wanna do something else, you can flip it over. On the back, there's a maze. Look at that, you got a little ball there. You can try and get that. Here we go, I, I can do this, hang on. Wait, hang on. Okay, this maze, harder than it looks. Again, Staples, they are all about innovation. They're not happy to just make a calculator. They've got to put a maze on the back for no obvious reason. I, mean, I wish I could have seen the meeting with like, what are we going to put in the back? Like a snow globe or should we have like you know, a maze? Let's put a maze. That'll do it. Unbelievable. Okay, now I'm a little annoyed. I mean, Staples, amazing brand new range of calculators, but they've not given me anything to unbox. So I'm not taking that lying down. I'm going to unbox the calculator itself. And four, okay, and you can see the calculator is still on during all of this. It is a live dissection. Let's unbox it there. And so, oh, okay, so there's the front transparent part of the calculator. Inside we have, uh, this is where all the disco is kept and a variety of, of buttons. Here we have the battery and the board. And, oh, hang on, does that come out? Oh my goodness. Okay, hang on, there, we're out. Okay, so now I can just solve the maze by picking up the ball and putting it there. Scores for the Staples Maze Calculator. Display, and I guess in terms of display, it's not just the display, really. It's, I mean, the whole thing is on display. I'm gonna give that a 10. Functionality, six. Accuracy, not great, a four. Ergonomics is a little bit iPod, iPhone inspired, so I'm gonna give that an eight. Cred, I mean, it's pretty funky. I'm gonna give that an eight. And for durability. Okay, I, I don't even know what that's meant to be showing. Okay, I'm gonna give it a, oh goodness, 3.9 for a total score of 39.9. So there you are, the new range of calculators from Staples who are pushing forward the frontier of what's possible with calculators, putting in all new features that absolutely nobody has asked for. Still working.